hi guys welcome to another what are we checking and chit chat for the bougie budget uk youtube channel so we are at november week three i believe um november is going so quickly but i'm kind of excited because i want it to be christmas i love christmas it's my favorite time of the year so i don't really mind november's like a filler month and then we have like a filler episode on a tv show november is definitely a filler month so yeah bring on christmas but yes as per usual i'm going to do um a run through of my cash envelopes sinking funds um we'll talk a bit about my christmas savings challenge and where i am with that and the money that i've spent recently um and i've got a little bit of change to stuff so cash envelopes what have i spent so in food I stuffed um, 2 50 at the start of the month and I've had a couple of um, top-up shops between then. So I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 63 pounds left in food, which will be fine. Um, I usually do a top-up shop on like a Saturday morning. So I'll do that again this week. But yeah, there's food in the freezer. I'm going to have spaghetti and meatballs tonight, which I'm looking forward to. So yeah, I should be fine. I don't think I spent any money out of fun. Oh no, I did. So I've got £25 left. So I put £35 into the bank um, for my Beyonce Renaissance tickets. Um, so we're going to go and see her film in the cinema in a few weeks. And then did I spend anything else? I don't think so. So yeah, I've got £25 left for the rest of the month don't have any plans so i'm hoping to carry that one over uh, we talked about hair last week got my lashes done on saturday just gone so actually i did spend more money out of fun i went to a new lash tech because the one i usually go to is on maternity leave and i incorrectly thought that my new lashes were going to cost 30 pounds on the day plus uh 17 pound deposit or something but i actually needed to pay 38.50 so i just didn't calculate everything properly uh so i took another 10 pounds out of fun to cover that so yes next time i go next week i will only need to give her 30 pounds on the day and pay like a 10 pound deposit beforehand but yeah i got confused uh nails not done recently oh got a pedicure also on saturday just gone um so i went for like red sparkly toenails i'm thinking that while it's winter autumn like basically while i don't have my feet out i'm just gonna pick any color that i want because <laughs> i usually always get white toenails during the summer because i just think yeah they go with my skin tone they match any shoe that you wear but yeah i think um while i don't have my toes out i'm gonna pick every colour under the sun and then yeah personal care I have not spent money out of okay and then sinking funds so my nephew I've been spending money my nephew again <laughs> I went when I was out on Saturday um I had a break between so I had laser hair removal on Saturday as well. I had an appointment and then I had my lash appointment. So I had a break between the two and I went to Zara and I bought my nephew a coat. I bought him a hat, bought me some gloves. He has all of these things, so he doesn't need more, but they were really cute. But Zara, Zara is expensive <laughs> for, for babies, especially Zara is expensive. But I bought him a coat in a bigger size. So at least it's something he can grow into over the next year or so. Um, I actually only went in there to get him some boots and they didn't have them. So I just bought him other things because why not? So the baby has 20, 30, 40, 50 and some change. I spent 43 pounds in Zara. So yeah, I'm looking forward to <laughs> topping this back up at the end of the month because i've been spending on this child and it's christmas soon and yeah he doesn't need anything uh eating out oh yeah i did spend on eating out <laughs> i like these videos because they remind me that i actually did things <laughs> recently 
Um, but yeah, on eating out, I spent fifty pounds. I had fifty pounds, and I spent fifty pounds. So we went to the pub on Sunday, and we had a roast. We both had roast pork, um, pigs in blankets. What else did we have? Oh, we ordered extra Yorkshire puddings because they do those big fat Yorkshire puddings, and it was so good. Had a few ciders, and yeah, enjoyed myself. So all of my fifty pounds is gone. Haven't spent any money out of gifts, and I did spend fifteen pounds out of home. So now there's only ten pounds in home. I spent fifty. So I went to Tesco's. Couldn't find any flowers. This is on a Saturday. This is wonky. And that's my fault. I stuck this on. Oh, this is wonky. It's going to upset me now that I've noticed. Anyway, so I went to Tesco. Couldn't find any flowers that I liked. Went to Audi. This was Saturday afternoon. Went to Audi. They didn't have anything at all. So I went to Waitrose. And because the flowers I had the previous week were dying, I was like, no, I need to get some flowers. And the flowers that I bought... It cost me 15 pounds and i'm not i'm not happy with them <laughs> so uh, yeah this 10 pounds should be able to get me a nice bunch in audi if i go early enough on saturday because i'm not happy with the ones that i've got but oh well and then last but not least is shopping so shopping has 30 uh 35 I actually owe this £10 because what I did on Saturday when I went out was I took money from my envelopes because I don't take out these big um, wallets with me so I, or binders. So I didn't take these out with me. I just take the cash and I separate it out in my purse. But I got a bit mixed up and then with the lashes thing and then, yeah. So I actually owe this £10. Um, I do need to buy a Christmas jumper for a Christmas party that I'm going to at the end of this month. So it's the Christmas party for my new job. They've invited me, so I'm going, and they're all wearing Christmas jumpers, and I cannot be the odd one out. So I need to go and buy one of those. But that is it for sinking funds. And then the only, it's not a cash envelope, savings challenge even, that I want to talk about is Christmas. So I've still got this £300 placeholder in Christmas, although I think I've got 70 something pounds in my chase um, app account. But I have bought, bought my partner's gift. Um, I can say what it is because he asked for it. So he wanted a um, Man United jersey and they had 20 or 30% off one day. So I bought that, that's come, I've wrapped it, already had all of my nephew's stuff, already had my auntie's things, got my mum's gift. So I just need to get my sister's partner, which I'm going to do next week on Black Friday, and then uh, my sister's gift, which I'm going to do next week, week after, who knows. But yeah, Christmas is pretty much done. The only thing I was going to say was, oh, warning. There was an article I saw that there's going to be a pigs in blanket shortage this year. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love pigs in blankets. I feel like it's like one of the best parts. If you're having a roast or a Christmas dinner or whatever, it's like the best part of the meal. There will not be a pigs in blanket shortage in my house. So I'm going to do <laughs> from my Christmas um, uh, challenge. Um, this week when I go to Tesco's, I'm going to start stocking up on pigs and blankets and put them in the freezer. I think maybe next week, because you can keep things in the freezer for like a month, right? So yeah, from next week, I'm going to start stocking up on pigs and blankets because there will not, there will not be a pigs and blanket shortage. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. If you need pigs and blankets for Christmas, there might be a shortage. Start buying them soon. Freeze them. Um, because yeah, who's eating roast dinners without pigs and blankets? Not me. Okay, and then finally, there's some pollen. This is not dirt. This is pollen from the fl the flowers that I don't like that I bought. Um, the change I have this week is one pound twenty two, right? Yeah, one pound twenty two. So as per usual, one pound twenty two is going into my jar. And yeah, at the end of the year, 
Um, I actually have a NatWest account, so I can just, I'm not going to count this on camera. I'll just um, take it to the bank and put it into their machine. But yeah, this money will go into my stocks and shares I sell. Fab. So that is it for checking in chit chat for this week. I do want to say um, thank you to you guys. So I mentioned on my last video that I would love if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, if you could subscribe and loads of you guys did that. So I'm now at over 800 um, subscribers. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you're having a good week so far. I hope you have an amazing weekend and yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.